Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be an exciting, great day. So today I'm going to be hunting down large bass. So I'm going to be going up in that creek where I've been crappie fishing. I've seen several large bass in there. And uh, so my plan is to bass fish on my way into that channel, all the way to the back. It's about a mile and a half back. And if that goes well, then I'm going to be crappie fish on the way out just because I want to take home some groceries. So we're going to fish for some trophies and then fish for some groceries. That's what we're doing. You know what boat I have behind me? I have the Lund 2075 Fisherman from Fish and Ski Marine. Check them out. They have great boats. If you hadn't already, please hit that like and subscribe. We would appreciate it. We'll be bringing you fishing tips along the way. And uh, looking forward to a beautiful day out there today. So the weather's perfect. We've got about 20 minutes until sunrise. I'm going across the dam right now. And it just a slight ripple in the water, which is great. So that wind's blowing just about 10 miles an hour, which is perfect. So it's going to be a great day. Stay tuned. We'll see you out there in the water. Well, I didn't find the bass, but I found the crappie. So that's what we're going to focus on now. So it's bass one, knee zero. One right under the branch. Got it. All right. That's a nice little crappie right there. Just came off. Hang on. Stop. Nice little crappie. So the rod I'm using, I'm using the Thump Detective. It's the nine and a half footer from ttdcrappiesticks.com and I'm using a two and a half inch minnow in moon dust color from Bonehead Tackle. I got one to fall in there it goes he just sat there and i raised it very very slow and then he followed up that's a nice one nice slab i had it right in front of him he didn't budge as soon as i started to raise it he came up and, and hit it nice crappie go home with some groceries pitch it up to him Bring him some dinner. He chased it. I got it. Hitching worked. Oh, that's a nice one too. He wouldn't bite it sitting there. I pitched it over to him and he came right after it. That's a nice crappie. Having a good day. Good day. But I'm chasing the roamers. I don't want to do the tr timber tree to tree to tree. I'm in this creek and I'm not moving very much. I'm seeing them come through. So I'm just uh, spot them and then drop down on them and hopefully they bite. There's a nice one right there. Come on. Right next to them. Got one. Got it. That's a nice one. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Stop. Nice fish. Coloring up good. Get the live well. He's gonna be colored up a lot more, but they're back here starting to starting to spawn. The, east, the west side of the lake where I'm at, the water's a little cooler than the east side, so they've already spawned in, on the east side, but um, these are starting to get into it, and so it's good. There he is. Got him. Another keeper. See, when Kenny and I were back in here the other day, there was a lot of crappie, but there's more today. The weather's warming up, the water's warming up. So they're starting to come back in here more to start spawning. And I think on, I think uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday is supposed to be warm. So those three warm days, these crappie are gonna come in here and just, it's gonna turn on really good. Okay, he just turned. He got him. That one was hungry. 
I was two feet from him and he came in and hit it. I saw him swim up. Keep adding them to the box. He's following. Got him. Hmm. Nice crappie. Flyers. Another crappie. They raised it up. They didn't come after it. There's another one out there. Let's see. Okay, I'm right next to another one there. He got it. He's close. I think he's 10, but we'll give him a quick measure. All right, almost 11. Okay, right next to him. He just turned. There he goes. Got it. That's a good one. That was a good one. Chasing down roamers. Chasing down roamers. Come on. Wanna go for a boat ride? Okay, right above him. There he goes. Bam. He was shallow, I didn't have to reel that one in. This one's gonna be close, he might be just under. We're gonna give him a check. He's close. He made the cut, he's over 10. Take it home from groceries. Hey, hey, don't splash me. One just chased it when I pitched it. Not the same one. Here he comes. There's one coming to it. It's underneath it. Turned. He's looking. He's looking at it. Got him. It's a nice crappie. Okay. Chasing down the roamers. I'm in between two of them. That one got it. Got a male crappie. He's got it. Too small. I got a fish party going on right over here. I'm just trying to see what they are. If it's whites or if it's crappie. Oh, there's one. That's a crappie. That's a nice crappie. There's five of them in there just hanging out. One foot under the surface. 
right. Let's do this. Hey guys, uh, I had a great day fishing today. You know, I came out to try to catch some trophy bass. Uh, that did not work, did not catch any trophies, but I caught some groceries. So I saw, didn't find the bass, but I found the crappie. So started bringing them in and caught, and caught quite a few of them. And so that's great. So Easter is coming up in just a couple of days. I would encourage you to uh, find a church if you don't have one already, just to attend the Easter service. You know, this is the time that we should be honoring God because uh, his son, Jesus, gave his life on the cross for all of us. So uh, he, he was tortured. I mean, beyond belief, they, they whipped him, they beat him, they stoned him, they spit on him, they stabbed him. Um, obviously the crown of thorns on his head, but um, the little thing that we can do of honoring him is what we should do. And so I encourage you to find a church if you don't belong to one already. Uh, even though I didn't catch any bass, it was a great day. So let me, there's four words I want to share with you to get you to remember. Even if, I will. So even if, then you can put in whatever you want. So everyone has some sort of struggle going on at some point in their life. And so for me, even if I'm sick, or this is where it can sound like a country song, even if my dog runs away, or even if I lose my job, or even if no one hears this message, or only one person hears, hears this message, um, I believe that one person is was meant for, for them to see it from God. So, but even if all that, I will still rejoice. I will still praise the Lord because he is my savior. He died on the cross for us. And so I encourage you to find the church, like I said, and then if you haven't given your life to Jesus, uh, that would be my prayer is that you do that as well. Thank you guys. I, I had a great day out here on the lake. Catch a lot of crappie. So we'll have the video out shortly. If you hadn't already, please hit that like and subscribe. We appreciate it. We'll be giving you fishing tips along the way. And then we try to do a short devotion at the end of it. So just like a little two-minute thing. So thank you. See you next time.